ni baada ya taarifa hiyo ni kwamba wafugaji wa eneo la kaskazini mashariki wanaweza kufanya ukulima kama njia moja wapo tu ya kupambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi na serikali ya kaunti hiyo imesema itawapa mkono mm -hmm. ili waweze kujiendeleza katika kilimo hicho lakini mwanahabari wetu Yusuf Mahat Abdi akona mengi zaidi mm -hmm. kwa kina <laughs> Kwa miaka mingi jamii ya ufugaji katika maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki zimejulikana kufanya kwa ufugaji kama kitega uchumi kikuu na chaki peke. Lakini kutokana na miaka mingi ya ukame na bala nja ufugaji wamepoteza idadi kubwa ya mifugo kutokana na ukame ila baadhi yao wameanza kilimo cha unyunyiziaji maji mashamba. Sisi wa mbeleni wa, wa, wanajunga huko kwa ni ufugaji. Sasa ardi iko ukame gamia umeenda gombe unaenda sasa utafanya nini sisi wanaingia shamba wanakulima eh hakuna haja ya kukaa bure to the people of garissa um, i say it's time to um, embrace technology uh, in fodder production um, we are trying in many ways to improve people from the ordinary pastoral production system and nomadism to more uh, improved husbandry practices in terms of uh, 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 production of feed for livestock. Serikali ya county inasema imeweka mpangilio kabambe kwa saidia wale wanaofanya ukulima kama moja wapo ya njia za kupambana na athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Identified about three areas, one in the Shantabak, another one in Fafi, and another one in uh, Ijara. So we are thinking of dryland farming. And we actually asking also talking to the national government and the partners, uh, donors, uh, to help partner with us so that we, we develop the, 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 the light scale irrigation, dryland irrigation. Yusuf Mahat Abdi, NTV, Garissa.